Hello once again. Hey, it's Dan down here in the workshop. Still working on the old Sky Ranger. I made some pretty good progress since I my last video. Here she is. I've got it uh, covered. Got the fuselage covered finally, and I got to tell you, this was not easy to cover. This fuselage because it's tapered and rounded on the top, tapes to, tapers towards the back so on and so forth. It, I found it very difficult to cover. Anyway, I got it done and I tell you what, I was scared to death. This is all one sheet right here all the way back. This is pieced together up front and this is more like gift wrap tape around the edge. So, it was getting real ugly <laughs> with the wrinkles and so forth, but I'll tell you what, if you take your heat gun and wor work and work and work slow, you would be surprised at the ugly wrinkles you can get out of this. And uh, I won't, uh, I won't tell you one thing about this. When I cover it, you pull it, pull the covering around, and you put it underneath. Underneath here, I'm not going to show you the belly. <laughs> the belly has a lot of, a lot of ugly scar still down there where it's where it's pulled together. Still some wrinkles left. But anyway, there she is. I got the decals on it. These decals will come with it. I, I work so long, I get so tired, and I said, oh, I want to put the decals on. Well, I got them on, all right, but look at them. This decal should be up about right here. It's about two inches uh, further aft than it should be to be centered on the side of the plane. But it is what it is. So I got the tail section done here today. I finally got it, uh, got it together. I like this red elevator. I'm going to have red uh, ailerons same thing but this thing I've toned it down as about as much as I can but this has got all kinds of throws to it look at that thing uh, and I, that's a low rates low I'm gonna have to play in the radio um, I got the tail wheel hooked up here she looks like she's gonna work real good I might have to get some better Loctite down here this tends to one screw can tends to come loose a little bit but I'm pretty pl really pleased the way it's looking so far. I hate that um, uh, putting all the all the hinges on the hinging. I don't know what you guys use, but I use the uh, Dubro hinging tool. Um, let's see what I do. I put it away. I think. Let's see if I got it down here. Yeah, this is what I use to do my hinging. And. Uh, I don't know if there is another kit like that or not. So if you got something else you use, if even if it, if it's better or you don't even if it's not better, let me know. I don't know. That's the only one I've seen on the market. I didn't look for too many, but uh, um, I'm getting getting down to the wire. You can see the servos probably down inside here, down in the center. They, they sat right underneath the pilot. This old pilot over here. The pilot sets right on top of those. It goes down in there like so. And I got some screws to some real small screws. They're actually cowling screws that uh, screw them in. And I got his dashboard. Dashboard will go in there like that. And I, I've got the um, I'm gonna put this little hump here behind his head. That little thing, I think I'm going to do it red, so I'll be red here, and it's red there, and red ailerons. I'm a sucker for red, so anyway, <clears throat> she uh, is coming together, finally starting to look like an airplane. <laughs> motor, motor sounds good, so um, not much else to say, except I'm going to keep on keeping on. I'm going to get... Uh, over here, I'm going to put um, American flags, of course, and all my, I like the American flags. And on the wings, oh, I have them right here. I'm going to put old fashioned some of these. One of these on each wing, the round dowels, the American symbol. Put those on the, each wing. And underneath the wing, I think I'm, I've got some uh, tape up here. I'm going to put stripes on the wing underneath it just, to, just for identification, easy, so you can easily identify it when you're, when you're flying. But anyway, it's going pretty good. 
it's um i'll be glad to get done though i'll tell you you can uh i can't tell you the countless hours i've worked on this thing i must enjoy it <laughs> i keep doing it but i only do about one this is my second one and not like i do these all the time so it takes me about um about a year and a half two years to to forget how tough it was for an old guy like me to build one of these and then i end up trying it again so anyway i hope it uh hope she flies nice it should this thing's got lots it should be like really this like they say it flies like a like a stick a stick style airplane so i imagine it'll have uh plenty plenty of uh, power and capability more than i can handle just hope i keep it one piece for, for a while so anyway Hope you're have a, having a good uh, day and good weekend and safe flying out here.